Hello and welcome to The Nameless Ones. My name is Avi. So if you are new here, you're very welcome. And if you're a regular, thank you for sharing this space with me. I made this bracelet, or more clearly, my inner child made this bracelet. And it's a great, it's a great little thing you can do for yourself if you feel your inner child needs some attention and need some energy and perhaps you may be somebody who has neglected your inner child's needs or your inner child's promptings in the past and it may have caused you suffering or it may have caused you to make the wrong decision or to put other people's feelings as a priority over your own. So I made this bracelet with the colors that my inner child would choose. You know, it's very, it's very girly. It's very kind of little fairy bracelet, which my inner child is quite the little twinkle toes. And it has real gemstones. These are turquoise and howlite and Swarovskis and this is shell. So with natural materials as well. And it's a good thing to wear so that as you're going throughout your day and you see it or you touch it, it's a reminder to send some love in that moment to your inner child, to give your, your inner child encouragement and compassion. And it's also a great way to, it's a reminder so that you check in with your own feelings and that you're sensitive to your feelings and to your emotions and to what you want to do. So if somebody says, do you want to go out for coffee? And as a highly sensitive, you're feeling their feelings, you're feeling your feelings, you're feeling everybody's feelings, especially if you work in a place where there's lots of people like I do, we can, we can be absorbers, right? As sensitives. So this is my way of reminding myself to stop, pause, take a breath, tune into my inner child, tune into myself. Do I actually want to go for coffee with this person right now. And it's a great way to stay tuned into yourself and tuned into the truth of that innocence that is within each and every one of us that often gets suppressed or neglected or shut down. So it's such a simple thing to do. You know, you just get stretchy string in a craft shop, in a bead shop, and pick out your, let, let your inner child make the design. You know, you're not making this to, to be the fashion statement of the year. The whole point is that it's a representation and that it's a symbol of your inner child. So it's something, it's a great little tip. It's a great little activity. The actual ritual of picking the stones and like going to buy the stones or find the stones or get the stones and then sitting down in a creative space to make it, I found very healing. I felt like the whole time my inner twinkle toes, my inner fairy girl was very excited and very happy that we were doing this. And I mean, I've also made this as well. This was basically a load of leftover random beads and gemstones that I had that were just really good, like really lovely stones. You know, there's Native American stones and everything on here. Um, but they were just, they were leftover random ones. So I, I, I basically said, I'm going to get all my leftover bits and bobs and just string them together. And I did not expect to love this necklace so much. It's so funny. I could go to the craft shop and I could buy the most expensive, beautiful crystals and gemstones and things and have them all perfectly arranged. And I probably will wear that necklace once. And I did not expect to, when I made this necklace, I was just like, oh, just do it for fun, for creativity. And I actually, there's something about, I love that it's so imperfect and it's random. And it, I love that it has, you'll notice with a lot of jewelry I make, I like stuff to be unmatching and offbeat and just a unique expression without any apology. Like we're not lining up, we're not perfectly matched, we're not 
because life isn't like that and nature isn't like that and I think there's beauty in the imperfection of it and the funny thing is every time I wear this and I wear it a lot more than I ever thought I would probably because I enjoyed making it there was there was a spaciousness and a freedom I didn't have to make it look perfect or have it there was no agenda there was a there was a liberated creative again inner child like let's just have fun string a load of stones together and have fun with the colors and have all the rainbow colors on it and every time I wear this people comment on it and go wow I love that necklace so it just shows you it's the energy of a thing and, and this this is about the energy of my inner child and reminding me to check in with my own feelings before I go off on a wild goose chase feeling other people's feelings because as a high sensitive and as somebody whose job like it is my job to tune into other people it's my it's my day job it's my evening job it's my nighttime jobs sometimes because I have clients from different parts of the world different schedules it's so important to come back to me and to come back to my my innocence my inner child myself and to stay tuned in with that okay so that's something you could do let me know in the comments if you're going to do this or if you if you've done it already or um or even go to my website and email me a picture of your your inner child bracelet. So my website is aileendoyle.com and I'll leave that in the description below. It's really important to have that space in your in your life and in your schedule so that you can be creative and you can play with colour and you can play with just following like having I was only saying this yesterday to a friend being able to potter like just have a 24 hour time period once a week if you can do more than that that's lucky you where you can just potter and you don't have an agenda you don't have a schedule you're not having any deadlines to fulfill you don't you're not tending constantly to other people's needs just having a space where you can go